Hi, I'm Bertrand the Tech Man, and welcome to the Boomers Tech Show. This YouTube channel is designed especially for baby boomers, where I take the time to show you how to use today's technology with very simple and clear instructions. So now, at this time, please subscribe and ring the bell to see my next video. And if you have any questions or if you would like for me to review something, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And note, all tips will be timestamped in the description so you can skip to the part that you're interested in. So let's check it out. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 tips that will help you to use your iPhone much, much better. And if you stick around until the end of the video, my final tips could save your life. The first tip, exposure notifications. This tip will give the health authorities permission to notify you of possible COVID-19 exposure. Go to your iPhone, go to settings, scroll down to exposure notification, tap availability alerts, now you have some protection from COVID-19. Tip two, make your text larger. As we get older, the text size gets smaller and smaller, so it seems. So here, go to your iPhone, tap on settings, scroll down to display and brightness, scroll down to text size, tap the arrow on the right, Go down to the bottom of the screen and slide the slider to the right until the text is large enough for you. Tip number three, spotlight search. Sometimes it's so hard to find something on your phone, so spotlight search can help you find almost anything from emails to contacts. Start by touching the middle of the screen, hold and drag down. Now you can type in the search bar or touch the microphone and speak what you want to find. Or you can choose from series suggestions. Tip four, turn on your haptics. Make sure that you not only hear your notifications, but feel them as well. Go to settings, go to sound and haptics. Tap vibrate on ring, which means when you get a notification, it will vibrate. Tap vibrate on silent. Even when your phone is silent, like when you have a doctor's appointment or if it's in your purse, it will vibrate. Scroll down and tap keyboard clicks, lock sound, and system haptics. Now you will feel your phone system-wide no matter what app you use. Tip number five, enlarge your display. Make your display larger. If you want your icons to be larger on the screen like your text, go to settings, go to display and brightness, scroll down to display, zoom, tap view, tap zoom. Tip number six, favorites. We know that smartphones make us dumber. For example, I only know one phone number, mine. That's why this next tip is so useful because it saves the numbers of those whom you call the most. So, tap your phone icon, tap the plus sign to add a new favorite, tap the person's name in the search bar, or scroll down to select a person. A box appears with three options. Choose which one you want. Tip number seven, voice dialer. The older we get, the more we realize that sometimes you just want to say what you want to say. Voice dialer helps you to do just that. Go to settings, settings, then tap. Scroll down and tap Face ID, enter your password, scroll down to Voice Dial, tap to turn on.
Tip number eight, find my phone. One time I lost my wallet for a whole hour. Finally, I realized it was in my back pocket. Maybe that was a senior moment. By turning this setting on, you can find your very expensive phone if you lose it. Go to settings, tap on your Apple ID, scroll down to find my phone and tap on it. Then tap on the arrow on the right side and tap on all three options. Find my phone, which gives you the ability to locate, lock, or erase information on your phone. Find my network, which lets you locate this phone even when the phone is turned off. Send last location. Your phone automatically sends your phone's location to Apple when your battery gets low. Tip number nine. Create medical ID. The Bible tells us that unforeseen occurrences befalls us all. So emergencies will happen, and you may not be able to tell them about your health concerns. This setting will speak for you on your phone's lock screen. Go to settings and tap on the settings. Then scroll down to health. Tap health. Then tap create medical ID, a medical ID. Then tap create medical ID. Then in all of the fields, place the information needed. Medical conditions, medical notes, allergies and reactions, and then your blood type, weight, height, and primary language. And then you click Add emergency contact. Choose the individual that you want to be your emergency contact. And then choose the relationship that you have. And then go down and make sure you choose show when locked. This will allow individuals to see your information even if your phone is locked. And that's important. Then you scroll down and you choose share no emergency call. This will share your information with individuals doing the call. And then you go up and you hit next. Now you can preview your information. If your information is correct, then you click done. Tip number 10, setting up an emergency SOS. Our final tip goes hand in hand with the last one. Go to settings and tap on the settings. In the search bar, tap in the first two letters, E-M. Then tap Emergency SOS. Then go down and tap Call with Side Button. And what this will do is this will allow you to tap your side button five times to make an emergency SOS. Scroll down and make sure that your emergency contact is listed. This is my debut video on this channel. If you found value in this tutorial, please hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. If you have questions, please leave a comment in the comment section or just say hi. I'm Bertrand the Tech Man, and thanks for watching the Baby Boomers Tech Show. See you later, alligator.